Hi, I'm Kimberly Washburn, Curator of Education at the Florence County Museum. Welcome to July's Family Day at Home. Today we're going to work together to create a unique work of art with bubbles. I recommend that you either do this out activity outdoors or you lay down a piece of paper or some sort of protective surface on the surface that you're working on, whether it be the floor or a table. You can see that I've put down some brown paper here just to protect my table surface to help keep things from getting too messy. The first thing that we're going to do in this activity is mix up our bubble solution. So you have a little container of paint and dish soap mixed together. We're gonna to take that and empty it into about half a cup of water. It doesn't have to be exactly half a cup, but around that. And we want to just give that a stir. You may want to test this with your bubble wand to see if you're getting good bubbles. If not, you may need to add a little bit more dish soap or a little bit more water, um, just so that you have a nice bubble formation. I'm ready to get started creating my bubble painting. I have my white sheet of paper set up on my table surface with my brown paper to protect the table. And I've got my two paint colors and I also have a small cup of water um, and my bubble wand. The bubble wand should be in your family day at home kit. So grab that. And the cup of water is just to rinse your bubble wand in between colors so that you don't dilute the colors or mix them up. So the first thing we're gonna do is just dip our bubble wand into one of our colors of paint and just start blowing bubbles. Now you want to blow the bubbles in the direction of your paper. If you just blow them into the air, wherever they land, you're gonna have a little bit of paint. So you wanna make sure that you're blowing your bubbles toward your paper. So. And everywhere a bubble lands, it'll make a little print. Some will be darker, some will be lighter. You'll get some fun splatters where the bubble has burst and it's created a little paint splatter. You may want to make sure that you're wearing clothes that can get dirty because it might splatter on you or if a bubble lands on you, you'll have a little paint on you. And you just keep blowing. I try to blow my bubbles in different areas around my paper, so I really distribute the color evenly. If I have a really dark spot here, I might want to try and bring some in an area that I don't have any color. That bubble burst on me, so I probably have a little pink on me now. And just keep blowing until you're happy with the way it looks. Okay, that is a good distribution of that blue-green color. Now I'm gonna switch to my pink. If you have trouble getting your um, paint to form bubbles, it may be too thick, you may need to add a little bit more water. So try that first. If you still are having trouble getting it to form bubbles, you may need to add just a touch of dish soap. When your bubbles break, especially in the air, you get a big, nice splatter. I think it's tricky. There we go. Each color of bubble solution acts a little different and you really just have to practice with it. The pink likes to splatter a lot. I'm still just trying to distribute that color evenly. There 
the bubble. And if I have too much of one color or another, I can always go back. Maybe I want to add a little bit more blue. Until I'm happy with my composition. Bubble paintings are a fun, summer, messy art activity that we hope you enjoy this July.